Despite this latest case, Taiwan is set to reopen its borders further, with international flight transfers allowed starting Thursday. Transiting passengers will be able to stay for up to eight hours, during which they may shop and consume food within the airport. On Monday next week, entry to Taiwan will become possible for more types of foreign citizens, including family members of Taiwan residents, religious and academic groups, and business people from Hong Kong and Macau. But all will have to adhere to the strict 14-day quarantine. And on, and on July 1st, restrictions on foreign travel for Taiwan's medical personnel will be lifted. Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport will reopen to transfer flights on Thursday, announced Health Minister Chen Shizhong. Passengers on China Airlines, EVA Air or Cathay Pacific flights will be allowed to spend up to eight hours in the airport and eat and drink while there. They'll be kept separate from other groups until boarding the next flight with the same airline. Due to the resurgence of the epidemic in Beijing, flights from China will not be allowed. Travelers will be able to order purchases from the duty-free shops and restaurants while waiting in the departure lounge, and the items will be delivered to them there. There will be special protocol officers for the duty-free shops. It's a flurry of activity as duty-free shops rush to get their goods back in stock. Monday will also see another step toward easing border controls for foreign visitors. Entry will be allowed for those visiting family or groups with religious or academic purposes. But visiting friends or sightseeing will have to wait. For Hong Kong and Macau residents, special entry for humanitarian reasons or essential business trips will be allowed. The spouses and children of residents of Taiwan will also be allowed to apply. But all will have to self-isolate for 14 days on entry. Would it be suitable to shorten this quarantine period to five or seven days? That will be based on the announcement of rules for low and medium low risk areas. To be allowed in, foreign citizens will have to provide the results of a negative COVID-19 test taken within three days of boarding to reduce the risk of the virus spreading in Taiwan. In February, officials banned non-approved foreign travel by medical personnel to prevent a shortage of workers, but those restrictions will be lifted on July 1st.